Okay, if it doesn't show up silver now, I'm giving up. Ah, oh, there we go. It's silver. So I guess it does matter the amount you get on there for it to show up. So that's nice. We got a silver necklace. And we have these charms. One's got a four leaf clover and the peace sign and a little bead. It's in copper tone color. It could be copper. I don't know. It's on the Lucky You. So this is Lucky Brand. That pendant is. It says Lucky You, and that's what they usually say. And then you have the horseshoe. Lucky You. Let's see if Lucky You is magnetic. I can't test for copper with an acid test, but I can test with the magnet. And yeah, that's not magnetic. So you got copper and silver in this necklace with your lucky charms. I wanted to use this real quick for this necklace. It is a seven and a half, so that makes it a 15. It's a 15 inch chain. Sterling. I don't know that it will fit in the, the smallest bag here, so let's try it. Let's try it. Depends on the chain. If the chain is real fluid, it normally will fit. And see it is. See how it just lays in there? It, if it was a stiff chain, you'd have to have a bigger bag. So that's your Lucky Brand Sterling Silver. Okay, we showed that. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I need my partner. I'm missing my partner. Here is a Lobster Claw Class Extender. These are acrylic green beads. And these you've got some pearls. The pearl flowers that are dyed green. And then some pearls. Faux pearls. And they feel like glass. That's a very pretty little necklace. Nowhere on the beads, nowhere on the pearl part that I can see. So this one's in really good shape. Beautiful green, rich green, and that, that shell green pops real nicely for the flowers. I like that a lot. The next one we have is a, just a chain by itself. We have a lobster claw clasp. It's gold tone. Very thin. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yeah, it's not magnetic. Now that is. That part's not. But where the spring is, it is. That could be gold. Um, it needs to be tested. We have two bangles here. One red and one green. This one's got a break in it like that. And so does this one. It's uh, missing some stones or wire wrapping here. And this looks like it's got a little bit of glue on it. Because it's really pretty like that. That's why they wrap beads around it. I take those beads off. I think that that part is prettier with these little stationed flowers, but I'm going to put that in the craft lot. The next necklace we have are the circles. You always want to test these because a lot of them were made in uh, silver. This one is marked apostrophe. Very pretty. Nice layering. 
Look, if it's magnetic. Oh, come on. It's stuck to my scissors. Yes, it's very magnetic, but there's no wear on the circles. These look nice, long, layered, or doubled. Very pretty. I like these. And I love the way this one collapses real nice. I'll probably get that in a medium bag. Maybe not. Maybe. Let's experiment. Let's experiment. My bagger has gone out grocery shopping. Which I don't really care to do that. So I appreciate him doing that. And since he cooks so much, he needs to shop. Because he knows what he wants to... Oh, definitely bigger bag. Bigger bag. This is the three by four bag. And like I said, I love the way that just collapses in. It looks like it would have fit in that smaller bag, but nope, it didn't. Okay. The next one. Oh, we have another one of these discs. And there's the back, and this one's kind of messy. Okay, I cleaned up the pendant. That looks much better. Isn't that pretty? Chains on these, though, or um, I don't know. They have issues. They uh, are pretty tarnished or discolored. This one looks like it's got a copper and silver look to it. So... Uh, yeah, you probably need to take this chain off and change it out. I don't know. That's what needs to be done on that. The pendant is beautiful, though. So I'd definitely sell the pendant. This is a gunmetal color lobster claw clasp. Double chained, rollo chained. Let me get it straightened out first before I start trying to roll it down the hand there. There we go. And you've got these black and fasted, larger beads fasted, some are framed. Very pretty. Needs a little bit of cleaning. On the beads. Just gave it a quick wipe down here. Oh, I feel like I got an acid or something on my finger. It's burning. I don't see any. I mean, I don't have the acid open. Oh, yeah, they clean up. Beads clean up nicely. So here we go. Very pretty. And they are acrylic. They're not glass. Now, what did I do here? Oh, mercy. There we go. That's a pretty necklace, multi-layered. You have these beads here that are framed. I need a wipe off here. They're framed. You have these little fasted beads and then these more uh, oblong fasted beads and then it starts repeating itself so let me give you a close-up look here of your beading situation and your chain there's nowhere on the chain the beads need to be wiped off some the chain needs to probably be scrubbed and you have some caps on the beads can see that these have the caps too so these are very pretty very well made uh, necklace 
going in a medium, I mean a large, the three by four bag. There we go. Let's see, the next necklace we have is, has a beautiful little hook class and this little uh, pretty sparkly ring here that you hook it on to. Rolo chain, dob long, and then you have these little squares. They're not quite squares, but little geometric designed enameled pieces. Here's the back. Somebody's worn it on their skin because here's the little needs a little wiping down. It's really not hard to clean your jewelry. The damp cloth does wonders. You just want to make sure your jewelry's dry before you put it away. Let's see now how much better this looks. Here's my little towel. Here we go. And it's a very nice, light, pretty bracelet. I mean, necklace. Here's a pretty little hairpin. I like that. It's very pretty. Okay, the next one we have is Punch Buggy, no punch back. It's got little rhinestones up, up at the top. Cute, very cute. And if it were yellow, it would be a punch bug, punch buggy, happy slap, no slap back. And if it was convertible, it's happy a convertible yellow and a punch and a Volkswagen. It's a double punch buggy, happy slap, no slap back. Very cute little charm bracelet. You can add more charms to that. I love it. Yes, I love it. <clears throat> and the child is coming out in me. I can't help myself. Ooh, it's got rhinestones on the wheels, too. Look at there. Isn't that cute? And they're all there. That's adorable. And it's not magnetic. Don't see any 925 on there. I could do a little gentle rub here. Oh yeah, it's uh, got a copper base, so that's why it's not magnetic. Nice silver coated though, copper based. Little charm bracelet, very, very cute. I know somebody whose first car was a little punch buggy. And she looks so cute in it. Here's a statement necklace that's got the pretty halite looking. I don't know if those are real halites. You got your uh, opalite stones here. Got a lot of nice stone in this. It is broken. As you can see, and it's missing stone. And we're going to put that in the craft lot. It's got a really nice uh, lobster claw, I mean, spring ring on that too, that you can use. Okay, the next one we have is, I don't know. Oh, okay, here we go. It's a lobster claw class, an extender with the with no bead. You've got triple chains here. You have Rolo, like a cobra-like chain, and another Rolo. Mixed metal color. And, oh, that's okay. that doesn't go. This is very cool. Love the bar look. And this has got the three layers. So it's very nice. 
These look like uh, gunmetal in color. This is a silver. This is your darker metal here, but it's not gunmetal looking. It is, I want to say, more of a copper look. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. Let's see. And in it goes. Just glides on in there. So next is, still got its tag hanging on it. I love it. It's very cold. It is a I don't know, I can't read that. Looks like Bean Corp. B E A Design. Something designs. Very cool. So that's the back. It just goes over the head. There's no clasp. I love the um, faceted opalite stones. Very pretty. Very pretty. I'm going to loop this tag again to see if I can figure out what it's saying. Looks like B Coop. B E A C O Bo Coop. B E A U C O U P designs. And it's got an arrow underneath. With no point, it's just got the ends of the arrows on each end. See the way that's done, the arrow. Okay, that's a nice necklace. Trying to, let me see if these are glass. Oh yeah, they're cold. So very pretty. It's got a nice little weight to it too. Very cool. The next we have is this pretty lobster claw class with an extender. Let me go back out. Whoa. Multi stranded sea bead in a pink color mixed with a darker color. It's like an ombre effect. Gets darker as you go down further on the necklace. Love these little. Uh, stations here. They look copperish. I don't know if they are real copper. It's a very long necklace. Yeah, it's not magnetic, so those are probably copper stations. This is a well made necklace. Here's your beaded ends. Just very pretty. It stays together well. It doesn't tangle all up like a lot of them do. And I think mainly it's because of these nice stations they put in there. Now that one requires a bigger bag. So I'm going to the snack bag size. A lot of pretty beads in that. And those are cold, so they're glass beads. Awesome. This is very beautiful. Very pretty. And the next one I've got coming up is really gorgeous, and it's in blues. You're going to love it. And they're glass beads. And look at these square glass beads and then these. Fasted. They, um, they're just that deep, beautiful blue. There's no peacock color coming out. It's just blue. You have a lobster claw class, an extender with Eric Lyons. 
Erica Lyons design. Lobster claw class, multi uh, stranded between beads and chains. The color is just fabulous. Oh, and you have some here with these copperish and yellowish beads mixed in with those. Just gorgeous. That is very nice. Very, very nice. You just can't beat those beautiful blues. Looks like the Caribbean. The water's in the Caribbean. When you're way out in the ocean, they're that dark blue that you see here. And then when you're closer to land, they get that light blue. It's just gorgeous. You can see right through the water. Well, we're almost getting finished. I'm going to cut this off and bag it. Okay, we're down to the last part. We have this uh, pretty silver necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp. Has an extender. It's got um, this cobra-like chain. Double chained. It's got some wear to it. I mean, it's not going to be a bright silver like these. These all have, also have places of wear on them, here, like here. Still a very pretty design, pretty necklace. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. Okay. And I needed to put this one away. I am taking uh, the chain off of this one. I'm just going to sell the pendant. Or either put a new chain on it. Okay, guys, I changed it out. This chain is going in the craft lot. And I put a new chain on this pendant. It's a fairly long chain, too. And I thought it looked real pretty with it. You can wear it that way, or really, you can wear it that way, whichever way you want to. that side and then this side this chain has a spring ring clasp it's in pretty good shape rope chain there's no discoloration at all on it so I thought that was a nice match and now we have a nice necklace to sell I love this um, yeah I don't know what that is it's cool. It's not cold, but it's cool. Very pretty little necklace. Okay, we have these earrings. Little gold tone earrings. They have a little wear on the, um, the hooks. I'm going to put these in the craft lot. We have a mother of pearl cuff button here. We have a little faceted heart charm. I'm going to put that in the charms over here. This is going in Curiosity. These two pins are tack pins that are going in Curiosity. I don't know what BTS Diamond and BTS Platinum are. If anybody knows, please let me know. We have these two little uh, stretchy charms. And there we go. Take that off. I'm going to put those in the craft lot. Very cute. Self centered. Oh, goodness. Self centered, huh? No, self control. There we go. Self-control and love. Craft lot they go. Then we have this pair of earrings with the teardrops and pearls. Whoops. They are a match. Very pretty. And we have this pair. That's a match. It's a glass bead. 
the orange color. It's a lot oranger than what you're seeing. This one's got a little bit of stuff on it. It needs cleaning. Next we have is this little shell bracelet. It's in good shape. I'm going to put it in the craft lot. We have this little button on. It's a snap-on. Little flower. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. We have a Lobster Claw Class extender with a bead, cord, and ribbon necklace. Uh, there's no uh, pendant. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. We have this little choker one that's velvety. Pretty little lobster claw and gold tone. Nice extender with a chain. I'm going to put that in the craft lot. We have a pretty gunmetal colored necklace extended with a bead. These are glass beads and they're faceted. And they're very pretty. It comes to a Y design. Very nice. I have a little girl's necklace, a little butterfly. It looks like it should have had something dangling. Nice chain lobster claw class with an extender. So since it's missing that little dangle, I'm going to put that in the craft lot. I might put this one on a bag so it doesn't tangle so bad. I won't guarantee my craft locks won't tangle though. And uh, these bags are not cheap, so and I go through them very quickly, so I won't always do that. Here is a extender with a lobster claw clasp. Rollo chain has wear up here at the neckline. On down further. Gets better. Beautiful teardrops. Beautiful colors. These are hmm, the jury's out on what they are. If they're glass or plastic. But beautiful colors. Look at that. Well, it'd be beautiful if it was cleaned off. And shining. Oh, that just annoys me to death. I guess people don't really love this. It's a throwaway world out there. They don't take care of things. They just throw it away and get a new one when it breaks. This is very pretty. See how pretty that is? Just beautiful. If you see something I put in the craft lot you want, you can ask for it too. I mean, you don't, doesn't mean you can't ask for it. I'm just cleaning this one off. These stones, because they're just so beautiful. Should have done that offline, though. I can't help myself. Sorry, guys. That's just so pretty. Beautiful. It's a beautiful necklace. Definitely wearable. It's been loved, as you can see. Uh, it's been loved to be worn, but not loved to be taken care of. And like I said, you do have some wear on the chain here, but it's not bad. It even looks like part of a tag. It's a Rollo chain. I mean, it's not spectacular, but it's still such a pretty necklace. I just, I would wear it anyway, because this part mostly goes around your neck anyway. And they probably sprayed perfume on it. It stops about right here. 
chain seems to be fine. There's one place right here that's kind of worn. But then after that, it's pretty. You maybe could take this chain off to right there and bring your clasp down and just have a necklace that's this long. It's so pretty. Alrighty. I'm putting that one up for sale. I'm not putting that in the craft lot. Good deal on it, though, if you want it. Okay, and the next one is Lobster Claw Clasp. Has nice ends on it. Watch you wipe off, wipe it off. There we go. Nice, pretty ends. Multi-chained. You have you have your little beaded chains, your curved chains. Your cobra chains, just beautiful chains. Let me get it unwound here. The cobra chains curling up like a cobra. Yes, it is. Now, what did I do? I must have got it out of whack. Here we go. Hmm. Let me undo this. So annoying. Okay. There we go. It's very beautiful. It's in great shape. I don't see wear on it anywhere. Pretty golden color. Multi-layered and that makes it look really good. These chains are pretty. Okay, there's no um, worry on what how to layer it. It's done for you. Let's see, do we have anything out? I'll bring these out so you can be kind of looking at that. Well, I get this bagged up because I don't have my helper with me because he's on the hunt for groceries and he's been gone a couple hours. When he goes to the uh, 